still reeling from the sting of losing Tina Fey on your screen every week? Well, suffer no more. She's back and she's great. Her new film, Admission, also starring Paul Rudd and Lily Tomlin, is a poignant dramedy about the college admissions process. Fay plays Portia Nathan, a no-nonsense admissions officer who has gotten real good at saying no. Fay has made somewhat of an art of playing the straight-laced working lady, and we love her for it. But in Admission, her character is thrown for a loop when she finds out her son she gave up for adoption in college may have come back into her life. Enter Paul Rudd. His character, John Pressman, is kind of your classic nice guy who doesn't give up. And Lily Tomlin, as Faye's mother, almost steals the show with her hilarious one-liners about Portia's life. As I said before, this film is a total dramedy. It makes you laugh and cry, which is something new for Tina Fey. Of course, every comedy has that five-minute arc where everyone is sad, but this film, Faye really has to put her drama pants on. She has some very important scenes where she has an internal struggle of what is morally right and wrong and how far she'll go. Surprisingly, this is the first time Faye and Rudd have been in a movie together, and they have wonderful chemistry, which is just a testament to what fantastic actors they both are. Not to mention the rest of the cast, which is phenomenal. If you're a Johnny Come Lately Tina fan, this still might not be your favorite, but for diehard Faye fans like myself, and I'm guessing that's most of America, then admission is definitely worth the price of admission. And I want to jump in right away by saying, you know, I came into this film with an innate Tina Fey bias. Me too, me too. And I was trying to consider that when, when looking at this film in hindsight, but you know, everything in this film really works beyond her. We've got Paul Rudd that walks into the film, like he's been there for years. He just kind of flows out of the woodwork. You get a great sense of this character right away. Yeah, yeah. and then there's Jeremiah, who's her adopted son. Mm -hmm. He gives this kind of organic uh, performance. Great. That's Nate Wolf. And then of course we have to talk about Lily Tomlin and how she really sets the tone and the fun of the film in motion. Mm -hmm. Her and you, sarcastic yeah. one-liners. And, and you can tell that Tina was incredibly happy to be working with Lily Tomlin because she is one of her comedy heroes. So mm -hmm. you, it's, they have great chemistry together and they're not a good mother-daughter relationship. Um, also, I like that Michael Sheen is in this film as uh, Tina Fey's long-term boyfriend. Yes. You get a little bit of the 30 Rock, Wesley Snipes, it was really uh, Liz weird watching Lemon that. relationship. Yeah. yeah, so it was nice to have them back together because mm -hmm. I love their dynamic that they have. And then there's so. also those innovative visuals that right. you had talked about earlier. Right, right. Um, I loved how they used the admissions process and they had the actual person who was being uh, admitted into Princeton show up in the room so you could see the kid. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great little ploy that they used. It was like used. an audition and it was really, it made sense to go with Tina Fey's character. How this show is like really, right. you know, this movie is about really about the morality and this issue going on here. Right. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Price of Admission. We welcome all your comments and to come back and check out our other reviews. Thanks and have a good day.